everyone, and welcome back to our Safe On Cruise with Shannon and Roger Moore. Roger and Shannon. We are back with you this week, and today we are on Symphony of the Sea. There's some big news. We're actually starting to do and, and metamorphosize ourselves, transforming. We're going to start doing some new stuff now, right? That's right. We're going to start to get more into, we've been doing destinations, everything else, but we're going to start to do more stuff on board ships. So we figured we'd start off nice and easy and slow on the second biggest ship in the world. That's right, because the largest ship in the world is the Wonder of the Seas, and we're on the Symphony of the Seas, so That's we're not right. far off. Well, no, this, this ship is a meter smaller, so honestly, we're not starting <laughs> off too aggressive today. But we are out on the, one of the main activity areas of the ship. There is so much to do. Oh my the, goodness. The Blow Rider is here. Um, Shannon is going to do it. Shannon is going to do it in a couple of minutes. No, that's Marie, right? We brought Marie. Your, your wife's on board. She says she says we're doing all of this now. And right across from us is the ultimate abyss. This slide is crazy. Shannon's going to do that too. Yes, I will do that one. I can see the zip line is just over here. There's water slides, ice skating rinks. There's a carousel. Miniature golf. There's so much to do. There really is, and Royal Caribbean has been incredibly innovative. Not only have these ships been bigger and bigger and better and better, what they do on these ships is so cool. They've been so innovative in their ship design, and quite honestly, coming out of the COVID era, they were really innovative working on the healthy sail panel with um, Norwegian Cruise Lines, Royal, Royal Caribbean Group, yeah. were the first people to sail, the first cruise lines to sail in the North American market. So it, they're, they're great. You know, I love that about all the cruise industry. Across the board, it really is phenomenal. And the transformation that they have gone through, you know, people were so worried when COVID came back, but I know you and I were not worried at all when COVID was out there because we always knew the value vacation that Cruising had to offer. The value and the safety. And the safety, the health and safety protocols that they put in place, I know. And you know, Michael Bailey was really one of the leaders in that. All the cruise lines really took a step forward, but I know Michael, you know, Michael Bailey was was leading one of the working groups um, and coming up with the health and safety protocols in the Caribbean when they were putting together what they could do as the ships returned to sailing for all of the SCCA's Caribbean I think if there's anything we can look at, there's many good things that came out of COVID. The number one was communication. And as Shannon just referred to, the Florida Caribbean Cruise Association, along with many of the um, destinations in the Caribbean area, started what they call the America's Cruise Task Force. And Michael Bailey was the leader, or the, the chairman on the cruise side. Mia Motley, the Prime Minister of Barbados, was the um, leader on the um, destination side. And it just opened up incredible communication, not just in this region, in Europe, and throughout the world, as far as communication between, within destinations, between destinations, and between destinations and the cruise lines. So that's something really good that has come out of it and will be a lasting effect. And I love it because, you know, us getting on board the ship today, it is hustling and bustling. There are people everywhere. You know, everyone's starting to, to get in the line and participate in all the activities. We're fortunate enough because the guys are back here demonstrating for us. The tough job these guys I have. Know. Like, wow. I want that tough, job. I, yeah, I, I do. Want that job. Well, you were a cruise director. I'm sure you would have been doing that. But my last time on Royal Caribbean, it's a couple times, um, but I have talked about it or spoke about it before on Odyssey of the Seas. I was lucky enough to be invited on one of the pre inaugurals, and it was a love fest. And not in the hippie. Anyway, you know, that's, that's why you're in red and I'm in pink. It's a love fest all over again. Not like in the 1960s, but <laughs> the travel advisors, uh, when there was a presentation by Michael Bailey and Vicki Freed, it was a love fest between the travel advisors and Vicki and Michael as far as how great they've been to the the travel industry and the travel advisors uh, throughout the whole pandemic and coming out. And the other part of the love fest was talking to the crew. The yeah. crew was so thrilled with how much... And they're still thrilled. Yeah, and you can see it behind us. They're still thrilled. Yeah, and it's just you know how, how great Royal has been and all the cruise lines to supporting their crews for this difficult period. And um, we're back. We're back. Yay! Bye, everybody. And we'll be back next week. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Bye.